Welcome back, Internet, to the Perceptions of the Dead. In the last episode, we met Raven, who is very bleak and likes to say no and yes, and that's pretty much it. Uh, and then we found, what was his name, Colin or something? He's surfer dude, bruh. Get pop, bruh. Come to my party, bruh. There's bays, bruh. So now, we're going to go to the third option, the E-Ward. So let's see what awaits us. If you don't remember, her name was Jill Count. All right, here we are, lads and ladies, the ectoplasmology clinic. Yes, I know that's neither a real word nor the name of the place. But I can't help but call it something silly when everywhere you look, the name reads like this. Do you think maybe I'm looking at this wrong and it's supposed to be e-clinic? Like, maybe they service robots here with robotic ailments. This place seems in really good shape. Other than the defacing of all the signs. If I didn't know any better, I'd almost think this part of the hospital was still active. Oh, shy? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't expect to find anyone else here. And when I saw you, I just couldn't help myself. You're telling me! I mean, about the finding anyone else here. Once again, sorry about that. Wasn't exactly a kind thing to do. I'm Andy. You okay? Yeah, yeah. What are you doing in a haunted hospital, Mr. Andy? Same as you, I expect. Hoping to bump into a ghost and get a good fright in it, too. Ain't seen much so far. Just the general spookiness when a place falls into disrepair, you know? Yeah, <laughs> I know what you mean. Same here. Still, what the heck is wrong with you scaring me like that? I was under the impression that you came here specifically to be scared. Ain't wrong. Perhaps you're just upset that I'm not a ghost. Or are you? No! I still think everyone's a ghost. Maybe you're scared because a man over three times your size has you alone in an abandoned building miles away from anything resembling civilization. Sir, he, she is live streaming, and you're basically saying rape. How dare you? Gulp. Did you just say gulp instead of gulping? <laughs> That's my first thought, too. Damn, girl, you're like a goddamn cartoon character. <laughs> Look, I'm not gonna do anything to you. I'm more here to get scared than do any scaring of my own. As you are already scared, a uh, young cool. girl. No, anywhere scarier in the building. Scarier than a room with me. You do realize I have 30,000 followers watching me right now. 30,000? Really? No, but I think I'm at a few hundred, which is pretty good <laughs> for me. Probably should do the whole live streaming thing more often. Yep, same here. Hey there, Jill. Uh, here's to you kids watching. Please excuse my poor taste and humor. I'm just here to have fun. Yeah, shame well, on you, Mr. Andy. You, Andy, but back to my earlier question. The basement would have to be the scariest place in the building. That said, I doubt you'll be able to go down there. At least not this year. You'll see what I'm talking about if you try to go down there. What do you mean? It's flooded. I already tried it myself. Have you been down there before? No, I heard about this place from a friend. It really is haunted here, you know? Oh, really? And would you be so kind, dear Andy, to tell us exactly how you know this? <laughs> you don't need to know how I know. Anyway, you have fun. I'm going to keep doing some ghost hunting about. Thanks, Andy. I'll see you around. Point out the door over here. That's spoopy. Andy seemed nice, but if he's right, then Owen's suggestion of the basement is out. So I saw a set of stairs near the entrance and call me avant-garde, but if I were to have a basement, I'd have the stairs lead to them. 
I know at this point I can pretty much guarantee that any chance of me getting spooked by spooks is out. You just can't have a haunted house with a full house. Sigh. I should have known that I wouldn't be the only one drawn out by the allure of a good scare. Still, we have one chance left. I will say, the, the voice actor, I don't know who she is. I'm probably going to look that up later. <sighs> I love her voice, man. She's really good. Two different attendees have directed me to the basement, so we're going to take a gander and see if we can't find something frightening. All right, I see the door to the stairs. Let's see if it's flooded, as was implied. Help me! Oh, milk duds, you scared me. Oh, it doesn't matter. What's wrong? Are you okay? He's right behind me. He wants to kill me. Who wants to kill you? Did Andy? Oh, Is it the face drop? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. oh God. He's gone. I thought he was going <laughs> to kill me, too. I thought you did die. He took her body. I can't even find a trace of it. Did I pass out for a moment there? How much time has passed? Did that actually happen? Did you guys see that? Come on, guys, say something. I'm terrified out of my... Is the chat broken? Is the audio still going through? It looks fine on my end. If anyone can hear me, call 911... Ah! Relax. It's just me. I heard gunshots. <laughs> so ah, that Andy. actually happened. It wasn't a ghost. Oh God, I just saw a murder. What did you see exactly? There was a man. I didn't really see him clearly. He was in the shadows. The woman, she was wearing that stuff patients wear. I thought this hospital wasn't active. Why is there someone in patient stuff? Good question. Call a gown, by the way. Hey, you, come over here. She's having a panic attack or something. I want to go check and see if I can find the shooter. I'm not having a panic attack. Pretty sure you're having a panic attack. Just regular panicking. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, hello, Raven. I heard a noise and ran away, but then I realized the way I was running was closed off and ran back this way to get out. Thank you for that. It's very reassuring. It wasn't meant to be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Whoever was shooting didn't come back to the party, oh. which is good, because I just got the cupcakes out. <laughs> Bruh. Oh, I wonder if the rumors are true and they still use this place for experimental medical experiments. That's a rumor? If I had known there was a rumor like that, I wouldn't have come within a mile of this place. That rumor is 20 years old at least. The supposed experiments were run during the 90s. Well, I have only heard of them very recently, like yesterday when my bra told me it's not safe to party here. Yo, do you think the dude who was shooting might have been a government spook? Government spook? Are you joking? I like never joke. You were setting out cupcakes for a Halloween party in an abandoned hospital. If that's not a joke, I don't know what is. Okay. Don't know how that happened. Bruh, don't diss my party. I throw this thrasher every Halloween. Yeah, bro. Stop! Someone was shot. We All right, let's get back to the point on hand here. Alive. After four shots. Good point. One way or another. Owen, oh, I don't suppose any of your party goers could have been dressed as a patient for some reason? My party goers could be dressed as anything. Buzz Lightyear to Buzz Aldrin. <laughs> Those two aren't actually very far apart. Well, you know what I meant, bro. Yeah, bro. Is it just me, or has Andy been gone a while? He the huge black dude? Uh, well. It is him. Sucks to have to play the stereotypes, but 
No, the man who shot her was much, much smaller than Andy. Oh, that's good. If Andy runs into him, he can probably just, like, fall on him and deal with him that way. I have cookies to take care of, so... Don't you dare leave! There's a murderer about! I should go, too. Are you kidding me? What about the murder? I didn't see anything. Here. Hey, killer man! If you bother this weird lady who talks to herself, I will be the killer. Bruh. <laughs> because I will kill you. Don't think I won't. Yeah, dude. I'm Owen. Bruh. I don't want to do it. Hmm. Uh, dear lads and ladies, I'm going to do something crazy. I'm going to solve this murder mystery. That's so not what a teenage girl that's live streaming in a haunted hospital would do! Okay, so somehow I have a connection to streaming, the upload is active, and potato chips. I can even see other streamers doing their thing. That being said, I can't contact 911 via my phone or any other sites via the internet. Meaning that if the hospital isn't haunted by malevolent spirits, my phone provider certainly is. Demons! So, if you're watching Demons, this, Jim, please call the police for me. I'm seeing that I recorded the whole thing, save for the last three shots, so there should be plenty of evidence on my stream records. That being said, I'm not leaving if there's any chance that woman might be alive. Or worse, that Owen might be right and there may be other people being experimented on. Let's go. And where exactly do you think you're going? There's Andy. Andy! In the flesh. Speaking of which, I ain't seen hide nor hair of your victim's body, or even any evidence of a murder at all. Hmm. Owen mentioned that there may have been experiments going on in a hidden part of the hospital. That woman might have been a subject. Okay, but I'd take anything that Owen fella says with a grain of salt. But what if the gunshots weren't bullets? What if they were sleeping darts? Do sleeping darts fire at the same volume as a regular gun? I don't know. I wouldn't even know if what I heard was a regular gun. I'll admit, despite how I may look, I ain't exactly had much involvement with guns myself. What's that supposed to mean? A giant black man. You don't think I look like a gangbanger? Well, sound like No? One. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. So, where did you go? Honestly, I thought I'd heard something on my way to you. Thought maybe our shooter had run past me. Went and scoured the wing I was in. Anything? Not a thing, and I'm sure of it. How sure? More sure than you'll reasonably be willing to believe on my word alone. For the sake of my sanity, I'm going to start by believing you. Is there anywhere in that wing that might conceal a secret lab? Other than the waiting room, every single wall, but not the support beams, thank almighty, have been knocked out. Looks like some kids were playing at demolition. If they're hidden, then the government agency behind these clandestine experiments possesses powerful cloaking technology. And it'd probably be best for us just to stand back and let them do their thing. Never! Then it's a good thing they don't have cloaking tech and it's just plain old empty. How do you know that they don't have cloaking tech? Because last I checked, this wasn't Star Trek. Sorry, you're right. Getting a little paranoid here. We should check the other wings. Sounds I good. Love the story. But I want to make sure he doesn't sneak past us while we investigate. Why do you have salt? <laughs> Is it for ghosts? Does salt work on ghosts? Not that I know of. I use it for ice and stuff when I'm spelunking. Throw a bit evenly across the ground in front of the door and we'll know if it gets opened. Good. Let's check on the others. You know, the best idea might be to just get up and go. Not without at least looking for the woman. And definitely not with those other two being idiots and staying here. It's hard to argue with that logic. Then let's go! Sure thing. 
who you want to check out first. Uh, which do you think is in greater danger? <laughs> Honestly, us. Not even making a joke this time, but out of the four of us, who is most likely to be shot without provocation? Just asking. And again, between the four of us, which one is risking drawing a lot of attention to herself by live-streaming a potential clandestine government operation? Oh, yeah. Good point. Thanks for that. It's okay. Seems like my job today is to keep things scary. All right. Where do I go next? How much longer is in this? I don't know how long I've been doing this one. I feel like that's a pretty good point. Um, that's all the time I have for this episode. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe for more in the future. And until next time, stay hyped, Internet.